Any guesses what we're doing today? Any guesses? Any guesses? That's right, guys. We're doing the floors. And look, it's one half of Mojo Bus. Mojo Bus. <laughs> uh, today we are going to be doing... Well, when I say we, you'll meet Ryan in a second. But we're doing the floors today. It's finally going to get done. And we have a seasoned professional here, Ronnie. And uh, he's helping us with the floors. He does flooring installs for the flooring places. So this guy knows what he's talking about. Um, so let's jump into the work. So we got Ronnie, the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, you guys will also notice that we took the underlayment off. Uh, Ronnie suggested that we did uh, some silicone. We talked about a couple different options. Uh, for an RV application, he is doing silicone with a floor that's supposed to be floating. So, um, many ways to skin a cat, and this is the way we're skinning this one. You want to walk us through why you're doing silicone and not that floating floor? Uh, because the silicone will create some stability, but it won't harden. It will always flex, so it'll help keep the floor semi in place, but it won't harden or crack. And that underlayment is really just a moisture barrier. It's more designed for moisture as opposed to anything, and you, you're not going to have a problem with moisture especially with this being like a uh, an aqua guard which is moisture resistant mm -hmm. so essentially we're kind of creating our own underlayment adhesive in a way yeah well I mean it's just I mean there's if, it, if it's waterproof, then we don't need a, a moisture barrier. And sound reduction, the, the, the ratings on the sound reduction of that little foam is zero. If we're going to go for sound reduction, I would suggest we put down a quarter inch core. Mm, cork. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's also, I have, a, I have tons of, I mean, the only sound insulation really is... You know, the subfloor, I mean, you know, you're in a bus, right? So there's no sound come, you know, the, the most sound is not coming through the floor. It's coming through the front engine, the tires. Yeah. And if you're walking around on the flooring, it's not like there's downstairs neighbors or anything. And what we're doing is we're creating a bond with the floor. So uh, with, with, a, with a floating floor... In a home, you know, you're going to get a lot of echo because it's it's clicking against, you know, it's it's it's, it's hitting the it's hitting the floor, it's reverberating off the substrate, and then it's creating more of an echo. So yeah, I mean, it's just, it, that's what it's designed for. But you know, we're mm. putting it in a boss. <laughs> This thing's only going to be like four and a half pieces wide. Is everybody enjoying Ronnie reality? <laughs> so how do you like working on your day off? <laughs> yeah, tell us about that. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> now I'm going to run this next piece here. Make sure we're straight, and then we can start nailing it. Gotcha. So he's going to put in some nails, I think, towards the edge, and that's to uh, have a, uh, well, he could say it better than I could, but have it like an anchor in a way so that it doesn't move when we're putting all that on there so and by the way if you guys have ever been to floor decor 
And you ever seen the kitchens and bathrooms and floors put together? Ronnie is the one who puts it all together. So we have a, se a seasoned veteran here. <laughs> So, take the line. Yep. Yeah. Professional. Yeah, look at that. Guys, look at how amazing these floors look. This is some exciting stuff. So, uh, we're working our way forward. As you can see, I'm lending a hand. I think that was the only hand I've lent so far. Although, I did clean up this area and, you know, Drilled the holes for the seat and uh, some other very easy jobs. But uh, Ronnie is quite the professional. Look at that. Look at that. Nice and clean. Now, hopefully. We're next for, ready for our next piece under our chair. <laughs> we'll have to drill some more holes. Yeah, we'll get a couple. This is for the airline. And we might have to. This is going to be an interesting piece there. But let's see, hopefully I can still put the pedal to the metal. I sure can. All right, here we go, we're, this is round two. We're, we got the, the device unlocked, so it's gonna actually look the snapper. Get like, to the I snapper. Know, <laughs> like I know what I'm doing. Okay. Take the line. Take the line. All right. Look at that. Almost like a seasoned professional, you know? And what kind of seasoning? Extra salty. I couldn't tell you. Look at that. Look at that. Am I hired? <laughs> <laughs> or fired? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ronnie the professional, would you please let everyone know how you, what is it called, scribing? How you cut around the uh... figure out where my my cuts are going to be yes yeah. I create a graph by I figure out where my cuts are going to be lengthwise and then I figure out the width mm. mm -hmm. and then this way I can create a Mm -hmm. oh, that's where my points are. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So I know where each section, like a graph, is. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can just wipe that off with yeah. anything. Yeah.
Wow. Very clean. Yeah, seriously, wow. The hardest piece in the book. <laughs> Was that it? <laughs> yeah. So you got those along the edge for what reason? Support. <laughs> A little anchor for everything here. And those will be covered up with some kind of trim. Again with my graph method right here. Yep. No tape measure needed. Abracadabra. Alright, so he's doing the width first. I'm taking notes because uh, I'm going to do a little little bit of this myself. It's going to cost you <laughs> dinner. Deal. Boom. So now I want this to be. You don't want that part out. I want to be boop, 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 boop. So I get. Awesome. That's the final piece. No, but this is the big coop here. Nice. Yeah, yep. Alright, so forgot to show you guys what it looks like uh, after installing, but you get a pretty good idea. I'm going to finish up the steps, so all the do it yourself people, you guys will be happy to know that. Uh, I'm going to do under this part and under that part. Uh, the trickiest part has been spoken for over here. So, thankfully, thankfully, had a hand with that because this is a li little, little on the tricky side when you first do it. Uh, but learning from pro like Ronnie is always a pretty cool thing. So, I just got to thank the man, the myth, the legend, Ronnie. Thank you so much for generously generously <laughs> uh, assisting today um, and uh, Ronnie is a pro Ronnie contracts with a lot of companies and all the um, displays and things that, that you see like that at floor and decor this man is in charge all those bathrooms that you see that are all perfect that look like Ikea stuff in there you know this is your guy are you looking for extra work in the Phoenix area you can always give me a call and see if I'm available. It's worth a shot. Cool. Yeah, but there's no, you know. And what's the business name? Uh, Lifetime Flooring Concepts. Lifetime Flooring Concepts. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, LFCAZ.com. Cool. Cool. Um, so if any, yeah. So if anybody was in the in the Phoenix, Greater Phoenix area, hit them up. Uh, as you can see, these things came out amazing, and uh, I'm taking this fine gentleman and these guys out for some dinner. Uh, what's the name of the place we're going to? Chino Bandito. That's right. So if you guys are from Phoenix or you pass through and you know it, that's where we're going tonight. So, dude, thanks again, man. I really appreciate hey, it. My pleasure. Yep. I, I love helping people out and uh, maybe show you some tricks of the trade so you can uh, have an easier time the next time you have to tackle this on your own. That's right. So I'll be doing the steps uh, in the coming days and then under the benches. So thanks to your, uh, you know, uh, Assistance and, and teach me how to do this. I'll, I'll yeah. be able to do it and not screw up all of my yeah. expensive floors. And if floors. you have any problems, don't call me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>